here with head cross country coach Jeff Styles. Jeff, uh, could you talk about the performances of your team today at the early bird? Wow, it was awesome. Uh, men, women, both ran great. Uh, women went, I think, one through four and six. Just a lot of great performances, even down to 10th, 15th, 20th place uh, on our team. I mean, we just had great performances, so very impressive. Uh, we had like a four-second spread, one to four, which is a phenomenal start. Um, led by senior Liz Phillips, but we had a lot of great with freshmen in there, some upperclassmen. Uh, so really fun. I think we scored 16 points. Probably the best opening meet we've ever had. And then on the men's side, um, the WashU alumni won, so I was pumped about that. And I believe the WashU men were second. I haven't seen the official results yet, but ran really well. Tuck Hartley up front, Michael Bernstein, Drew Padgett, freshman, moved up really well. We had a lot of underclassmen really run excellent. Um, and throughout the race, we had a lot of great people, a freshman, sophomore, juniors, seniors. Uh, yeah, so I haven't seen the official scores on the men's side, but I believe we were second. Um, and just a really fun start. Like a pretty competitive field, especially with the alumni running so yes. strong. What does yes. that do for your team to get out oh, and, and run a tough yeah, race yeah, early on? Compare yourself to uh, you know high-level athletes. Uh, we have a lot of wa kind of a Wash U All-Star team, for former All-Americans, national qualifiers, athletes that are still trying to qualify for the Olympic trials and the marathon and things like that. Um, so really, it gives you a national-level field. Uh, so uh, great comparative data. It was a hot day. Uh, you never know what the weather's going to be like for this race, but it's usually not 100 degrees. How did that factor in? Yeah, well, knock on wood, we were just, you know, you don't want anything bad to happen So for any team. So we just told them to be conservative, move up, um, yeah, hydrate all week. We knew it was going to be hot. Uh, so I think they really did a great job of being smart prior to the race, during the race, and hopefully after the race continue to to do that. But yeah, it was, you have to adjust, just be a little more conservative, um, but it was a lot of fun. Hey, we're here with uh, Liz Phillips, who won the Washington University Early Bird today. Liz, could you uh, talk about the race and uh, you know what your plan is for the first competition of the year? Yeah, well, I mean, it was a pretty hot day today, so going out there, we were just trying to work together, um, starting off slow and building up, just staying together as packs, kind of finding teammates to run with. And I think we did a great job of that today. We really worked on that kind of strategy of running together, feeling good, and then just moving up throughout the race. And uh, yeah, so I think it went really well. It accomplished what we were trying to do and then prepared us for some races in the future. This is your guys' only home meet of the year. How, is, how does that differentiate this race from a lot of the others that you'll run uh, from now until November? Well, I mean, it is the first race of the season. It's, it's kind of a fun, like, practice race, like, getting into it. Um, like I said, no, the, the results of today's race won't have any effect on the rest of the season. It's just kind of getting used to racing again. And it's really nice that it's a home race because we can have our friends and family here. We'll have like sprinters and jumpers here. And it's just really nice to have that experience. And it's more like a fun getting used to it, getting the jitters out kind of race. So it's a great experience. It's fun every year. So have our alumni here as well. I was going to say, it's nice, it has to be nice to see alumni yeah. and old teammates come back for this as well. Yeah, we have a pretty big number of alumni this year, especially on the guy side. So it's just really exciting to see everyone here, everyone together, having a fun time and enjoying this uh, holiday weekend. So.